Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Old Car Auto Guy and today, yes, if the intro wasn't something that's going to lead you to believe we might be making a purchase today, take a look at this. The car behind me you see is a 2000 Volkswagen Passat. It's a 1.8 liter turbo wagon and I think it's going to be our next Bubbles 2.0. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think, but before we do that, we're gonna take a closer look at this car and let you know everything we know that's wrong with it. So, let's take a look. So from the outside of this vehicle, it really doesn't look that bad, aside from the big gaping hole in the front bumper, but who needs a bumper? When we walk around this thing, we do see some signs of surface rust, like along the inner fender here, the edges of the door here, the leading edge of the hood starting to bubble a little bit here too. The front of the fender, the back of the fender, the passenger side door, and the door rubber is hanging out as well. That's an easy fix. But that's not the problem. I had this thing up on the hoist yesterday because we were taking it in on trade and the underside is surprisingly in really good shape. In fact, I was able to jack it up on the hoist using the rocker panels, unheard of for a car that's almost 20 years old. But the coolest thing about this car, besides the fact that it has leather interior, besides the fact that it's a wagon, and besides the fact it's an automatic, it's a turbo. And we've not had a turbo on this channel yet. We talked about putting a turbo on Project Grandma, but this is a little bit different. The bones are good, the repairs are costly. This is a Volkswagen. Those of you who know Volkswagens know that sometimes the simplest repairs can be quite pricey. Now the brakes are pretty well rotten, the rotors on it all the way around. Those surprisingly aren't that expensive. The pads are pretty well wore out on this car and those as well are surprisingly not very expensive. Now normally I would go and I would put ceramic brake pads on everything that I own just because I don't want the noise and all that stuff. But I can put semi-metallics on this car for about 25 bucks for the front and about the same for the back. How can you beat that? The inspection sticker on this car is only good till the end of the year. However, besides the brakes, it's got a right upper control arm or ball joint that's bad. Now these are a two-piece upper control arm. They've got one arm for the front upper and one arm for the back and uh, I've got to replace those on this side because well it's bad. That part is expensive. So I'm trying to outweigh the cost of actually buying the car versus the actual repairs needed to well just for me to drive it safely. Now Remember Project Bubbles, we did make it safe in the fact that we welded up the rear subframe because it was totally rotten. Uh, there was a few unforeseen circumstances that we had to get through, but with this car, I've got to have those upper ball joints if I'm going to drive it. I've got to have brakes if I'm going to drive it. The tires that are on the car right now are 100% bald, so we've got to have tires. All the more reason to lift this sucker up, put some big third, no we're not going to do that again, we've already been there and we've done that, but I'm not saying I'm going to eliminate it. Um, let's take a look at the inside and then we'll start the car up and let you hear how it sounds. Now this is a GLS Passat, which basically means it's top of the line in its day. So back in 2000, you got yourself leather seats front and back. And as we come inside, you'll notice it does have this kind of a faux wood grain trim all over the place. And it does have heated seats. Whether it works or not, that's to be seen. It does need a little bit of a cleaning. Other than that, the seats are in really good condition. There's no holes, no tears, and uh, the rest of the car, look, there's a little bit of trim hanging here. I don't even know if the sunroof works, but I think this is going to be a good winter beater for us and a great little project car for the channel. In my mind, all night last night, I was thinking about a lot of the things that we could do with this rig. And as we were talking on the Car Guy and Six Fan show on Thursday evening, what a great opportunity to turn something like this into a ute or a pickup. How fun would that be? Anyways, 
let's get this thing started up so you guys can hear how awesome this turbo sounds. And if you're asking how many miles we're on it, 282,000 kilometers. We'll figure out the mileage on that. That's uh, not quite uh, 200,000 miles. It's already got custom exhaust. Oh yeah. We're gonna have some fun with this car. Anyways, folks, this is just going to be a short video. I wanted to make sure you guys knew what I was talking about on the Car Guy and Six Fan Show as to something that's going to be coming up on the channel. I think I'm going to pull the trigger. I think that for what I'm going to pay for it and what we're going to have to do to it, it's going to be minimal. I think for less than $1,000, we can have this car pass inspection and driving on the road. So. I'll keep you guys updated on this car in the very near future. On Tuesday's upload, I should know for sure uh, what's going on, but like I said, I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to get some parts ordered, and then we're going to have to talk about what we're going to do to it for the channel. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I know that last week on the Car Guy and Six Fan Show, we had our special guest of Josh Schneider. It was, I'm very thankful to have Josh as part of our group because he does follow us, he does watch us, and uh, you know he's a bigger channel. So having that exposure sometimes really, really helps. If you don't know what the Car Guy and Six Fans show, it's something that Grant, Tommy, and I do every Thursday evening at seven o'clock Central, eight Eastern, and nine Atlantic. We switch channels every week. This uh, past week, it was on my channel. Next week on Halloween, it will be on Grant's channel. It's gonna be a really good show, so hope Hopefully, uh, you will tune in. If you don't know who Grant Tommy is or Straight Six Fan, his link is the second one in the description box below. Old Car Auto Guy merchandise is still available at my Spreadshirt store. That is the first link in the description box below. I hope you go over there and support my channel in more ways than just watching my videos. Guys, we're almost to 2,000 subscribers, and this video is number 300. That's right. In the year and a half or so that I've been doing YouTube, I've made and uploaded 300 videos, so this is number 300. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for keeping me motivated to make more. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you, God bless. Let's do it again real soon.